Hi, I'm John McAuliffe, Chief Marketing Officer of VFM Leonardo, and welcome to the VTV channel. VTV is a weekly series of interviews with industry experts on the latest topics in travel e-business, and specifically online merchandising practices that help hoteliers extract more value out of their online presence. As always, we encourage you to email us at vtv at vfmleonardo.com to suggest topics that you would like us to cover in future episodes. Today, I'm joined by Rick Lutweiler, the Chief Operating Officer for Pegasus Solutions, Inc., as well as the President of the Pegasus Representation Services, including UTEL Hotels and Resorts and UTEL Connect. He is responsible for managing all product, sales, customer care, and marketing for Pegasus, as well as strategic planning and continuous process improvement. Prior to joining Pegasus, Rick held a number of senior executive and leadership positions at recognized global hotel and travel companies. Rick, thank you for joining us on VTV and welcome. Thanks, John. It's great to be here again. Uh, today, we're going to talk about um, something that I'm sure is uh, on every hotelier's mind these days, and that is how to increase their booking ratios. Uh, it's apparent to us, or we've all you know, read or, or seen, that online consumers have many, many options uh, for searching for travel uh, online and many options uh, for what they actually purchase. They are also much more demanding today than they were three or even two years ago. Uh, online travel sites, both you know, whether those are transactional or non-transactional, are becoming increasingly more efficient at letting travelers quickly and easily compare hotels. This is revealed in a study that Pegasus um, uh, released and conducted, uh, has resulted in an increase in look-to-book ratios. What, in your opinion, Rick, are the most significant factors that impact sales conversions online? Well, I think there's a couple of different areas to look at. I, I, first of all, conversion can be looked at from, as you mentioned, sort of a look-to-book standpoint in terms of uh, how many times are systems looking for information before they're actually presenting a booking. And that continues to change in part because of the way consumers are shopping, in part because of the tools that they're using to shop and how those tools interact with the various distribution points for information. So I think that's going to continue to evolve and, and be an issue. And then there's a separate matter that is really just about um, how much people are doing shopping these days. They're actually looking to shop and they're looking for a decision that is somewhat based on price, a lot based on what they think they're going to get for that price. And so I think as we look at improving conversion, it, one thing is, well, what channels are you driving people to that will probably help the conversion? And the other is, what experience are you giving them when they go to make that travel decision? Are you reaching out to them in the way they want to be reached out to? Are you providing the information that they care to see? And are you making it relevant to them and the way they're looking for it? Because I think we've had a tendency to think about making sure everybody did business the way we wanted them to instead of really us understanding how they want to do business and making sure we're there for them. Right, that's an interesting uh, point in and of itself. Um, uh, you talked about um, uh, you know, one of the things that hoteliers should keep an eye on is, is what channels that we're driving uh, consumers to. Uh, but it's also interesting that consumers have really decided what channels that they want to go to uh, in order to do that complete or holistic uh, shopping experience. Uh, so very difficult to um, ensure, or is it difficult to ensure that you're, you're providing that experience that they're looking for in these multitude of channels that they are uh, searching for uh, hotels online with? Well, I think that's a great point, John. One of the things that we have to realize is that there are many organizations that are out there spending more advertising marketing dollars than the, the hotel brands themselves are spending to drive business. And then we have the independent hotels under that that, of course, have a much, much lesser spend. And so there is some significant lack of control in that. But I still think that the hotel owner and operator or even chain operator needs to understand their ability to influence that. And I think that influence has to do with who they choose to do business with, what terms they set to do that business, 
And then what they do to make doing business with them in a specific way more compelling to the consumer. Because in the end, the consumer is going to choose to go not only to the place they want to uh, stay, but through the channel that they like to book with. And if somebody can really make an effort to make their experience, their booking experience, a unique one, a, a very valued and sought after one, then they will be able to have a greater pull into the people that are trying to make those decisions. Rick, you also talked about the fact that um, uh, there's an increase by the consumer in in the shopping part of, uh, of um, uh, looking for hotels. And that, um, uh, more importantly, uh, that's driven by their need to um, uh, make sure that they're getting as much as they can for the price that they're paying. Uh, what is it that a hotelier can do uh, or what information is a travel shopper looking for in order to be convinced that uh, that hotel is providing um, uh, what they need for, for, uh, for the price point that uh, they're prepared to pay for? Well, I think there, as usual, there's a couple of different areas to address here. One area is certainly in the way that um, the hotel puts forward their story. And that story is told by images, whether those are still or uh, virtual tour type images. It's in the content that they write and how relevant they make it to many different types of points of view and interest from the person that might be making the decision. And then there's also the really growing impact of how others have perceived that property and what they're saying about it on the multitude of sites and the multitudes of channels that they have to express their opinion. So there's the one part that says, I'm going to be very smart, creative, and make the investment I need to in how I present myself, but I'm also going to be very cognizant of what is being said about me, and I'm going to capitalize on the positive things that are being said about me. I'm going to, in fact, nurture and encourage that, and I'm going to be very smart and, and responsive about how I react to when that feedback isn't so positive, understanding that that can have as much or more of an impact as other things can in the decision. Right. Seems like a lot of, uh, of focus on managing content, whether that's hotel produced or whether that's um, uh, user generated produced content that uh, hoteliers need to ensure that uh, they have available to the travel shopper wherever they want to go. No question. Uh, you know, it's, it's truly never been more important and I guess we say that every year, but it's probably true more so every year. And I think what's been changing is the, the, the bar that has been set for the quality, the variety of the content, the images and such, just keeps raising. And that is making it harder for people to keep up. But the other thing is, so many more people are relying on that, whether it's through your own control channel or through these other channels that might be presenting your content in their way. And so the return on investment is huge. And I think people have missed that sometimes. They, you know, they care more about getting a really nice brochure that they sit on their front desk that is only seen by the people that come into the hotel versus getting it onto a website or into a database that can be distributed to hundreds and thousands of websites and mobile devices that will be seen by many, many people who may uh, have never been to that front desk. So it's it's never been more important, and it's only going to get more so. It's very true. Um, certainly, this uh, increased shopping behavior uh, is having an impact on um, uh, technology. And I would suspect, in particular, hotels' um, uh, central reservation systems are, are feeling the, um, the impact of the increased amount of uh, calls to those systems. Um, what, what advice do you have for hoteliers in that regard? Uh, if it's an excellent point, John, I think people really need to be aware of the burden that is being put onto the various systems and infrastructures that support the booking process. And so uh, I guess it puts a frame of reference around that. When we see lots of people looking in lots of different places with tools that look in lots of different ways, it just keeps throwing more and more volume at systems, some of which have been around for 15, 20 years and absolutely could not have conceived the kind of complexity and volume that we're experiencing today. And so people need to be aware of what systems are they using, how current are they with their ability to handle that, because I think what people really don't understand is there are many, many instances, I'm talking about 
hundreds of thousands of instances, sometimes in a day, where a property's images or content aren't making it to the traveler who is looking for it. And it's because their system is not keeping up, it takes too long to give the information, and so it actually never gets there. They're excluded from the search. So if they ask for properties in uh, Biloxi, Mississippi, it's gonna come back with those that responded in time, and those that didn't respond in time just will be left out. So it, it's a hugely important matter, and people really need to think about that and, and ask the tough questions of their providers to make sure that they're either already in the right place or moving in the right place. So it sounds like um, some of the suggestions that you have for hotels uh, to uh, increase their conversion rates would, would include um, uh, a good management of their content, whether that's hotel uh, produced or uh, user generated produced, and a real focus on the ability to have the technological infrastructure uh, behind it to uh, serve up their content and or make their content available uh, on a uh, more guaranteed basis to, um, uh, to travel shoppers. I, I think you're exactly right. It, it is extremely important and if you, if you don't have those things in place, the rest of what you're doing simply won't matter to people that are using the online world to reach out and make those decisions. And as we know, that is a quickly growing number. Now, uh, Rick, let me ask you before we um, uh, depart today is, um, from the data that, that you see at Pegasus, uh, do you see any difference in those hotels look to book uh, conversion rates that are doing a good job uh, in those two main buckets, uh, content and technology, than those that are not? Absolutely. We see it at the individual property level and we see it at even the brand and chain level. And, uh, you know, give you some examples. Unfortunately, it's, it's sad to, to even think at this time in our state of our industry, there are still properties out there that don't make any photos or, or uh, much less virtual tour type information available. Or they have one photo and it's a bad photo. And if in today's environment, people are absolutely used to seeing rich photos, a good collection of photos, the virtual tours that go with it, content that's written to match up, you know, they're thinking about hiking or they're thinking about a wedding or they're thinking about dining and, and all of the content that needs to reach out to me because that's what I'm looking for. And that absolutely has to be in place and if it's not, then it really isn't just going to matter the rest of what's in place. And people more and more need to understand the importance of that and also understand that that's an ever-increasing bar. They, they always have to be keeping up with where is it going next and understanding that, and I think this is a key, I think a lot of times people make those decisions based on what they do and how they see the world. So if they don't think about how their content might end up actually being presented via Facebook because they don't ever use Facebook, they don't think it's important. Well. <laughs> There's more people on Facebook than live in many countries combined. So, you know, people have to understand it's not about how they see the world, how they choose to do things. It's about how their customers or potential customers do. And content is absolutely king. Rick, thank you very much for, for once again sharing your insights and knowledge with us. Uh, very much appreciate having you on VTV. Thanks, John. It's a lot of fun. To all the viewers out there, be sure to post your comments on this episode of VTV and subscribe to our feed to receive more valuable insights from industry experts.